welcome back everybody it's been a few days since I've recorded so I'm gonna jump into this sucker get right into it uh, let's go to the command center we've jumped planets we're on a different planet right now it's still a two skull world clan Burrock world as you can see there's a bunch of Burrock missions here I think there's a bunch of these we can do we've got a few here uh, there's a destroyed base one and a half skulls um, there's also where is it here Vanguard defend base at two and a half skulls which I think is good birds of prey I think is a defend base as well but first of all we're gonna jump in and do secure the assets here it's an escort mission uh, against clan Barak. so I'm hoping we can pick up some stuff now before we jump straight into the mission uh, we don't have the adder up and running because we're missing a clan double heatsink so I had pulled all the my idea was to pull this I, anyway I'm gonna jump into the mission and I'll tell you what I was planning on doing um, and what ended up happening. So I'm going to go full salvage on this because we want stuff from Barack. Uh, so we're going to go this route. This is back and ready to go. We just haven't got anything in it just yet. Uh, like I said, we're missing one heat sink. All right, let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we are. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure what map this was going to be. Oh, looks like they've got two lances at the start, though. So it's four against ten. That could be really bad. It could be really bad depending on what they have. We'll have to make use of our barrages really well here. Because we don't have any... Oh, we do have a support lance. Oh, nice. Stiletto. Striker. Another striker. And a Lewis. A Laus. Oh, Laus. Ah, I get it. Instead of a flea, it's a Laus. Ah. Okay, let's move forward. So my idea for the mechs uh, with the adder is I'm going to take everything from the Jenner here and we're going to move it over to the adder. Um, I know I said I was going to give the adder to uh, Witness, but I think what I'm going to do is we're going to upgrade the adder uh, to the flame mech. And then once um, it's got everything from the Jenner, I'm going to move the stuff off of the Locust and into the Jenner. So the Jenner will technically be the state, you know, exactly the same as, as it is now with the exception that it's going to like obviously have the loadout from the, uh, um, it'll have the loadout from the um, Locust, which means Witness will be getting a direct upgrade. Uh, he won't quite as have as much speed as he had before, um, but he'll have a lot more armor, so I'll feel a lot better about moving him in close with those X pulses. So that's a good upgrade. And then the adder, we've got five flamers in total, including the four right now on the Jenner. So we'll have five flamers and the adder has one built-in flamer. So that'll be six flamers on the adder. And then we'll add, probably add, like I said, some short range missiles on it. And depending on how fast it is, uh, it's a 35 ton mech, it needs two heat sinks. So it's not that fast. Um, but let's get you just for now um yeah i want to move because if i don't we'll be slower next turn so we should have some sight on now some bleeps uh, Svantovit, another one. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the adder will be, I don't think it's as fast as the Jenner, but we do have a mask. So if for whatever reason the adder is relatively slower, I'll probably, oh, a shadow cat. I'll probably end up s sticking the mask in there. Thank you. Get down here. Something on sensors. Yeah, I think you're in a position where it gives you good uh, protection here. Pegasus Scout. This is going to be the hardest fight, and the next two should be relatively easier. Let's go after this with some dead fire. Wow, really? What the what? That's what I was saying. Okay, sprint. So I'm thinking that. Um, that layout will probably be good. So we'll have the adder at 35 tons, the Jenner at 35 tons. 
the generator will take over the locust position and the adder will be our flame mac now it's definitely going to have a good ability to add some toastiness I'm just concerned about the speed is the only thing I'm concerned about being able to get in quickly so we may have because it does have a lot of like a lot of ability to add um, weapons onto it and we can't up core it unfortunately so like I said it's gonna have to be a uh, what's this guy it's gonna have to be a um, the mask upgrade ah, screw you and your Get into here. I'm gonna go after this guy. I want him gone out of here. So let's keep the rockets off. Let's leave the barrage off for now. Um, hmm. Let's go this route. Is it enough? Not quite enough. Good damage though. Oh, it was enough. I don't know why I open my mouth sometimes. Um. So that chopper is down. Let's get into here. He's the chopper can't do much at the moment. Pegasus, pair of shadow cats, and this guy. Now this guy. That's bad chances to hit. We could go with Hydra. It's out of range. Never mind then. Uh, SRMs are probably going to be a problem at this range anyway. All right, well, maybe we try and take out the Fuea, well, maybe not. That's terrible. Oh, this guy does have, like, no armor. That's a full turn of firing, though. We don't have that much ammo. That's actually not bad there. The barrage is off. You know what? Let's do it this way. Uh... I know we've got barrages, but let's drop one in here. We've got one more barrage, so let's do this one. With just a barrage. Okay, there goes that guy. My armor's melting off. Yeah, yeah. Complaints, complaints! Could be worse, you could be GV and you're burning alive. I don't know why you're complaining. But yeah, I'm interested to see how that adder is going to play out. Now, we still need to get it, find something for our melee mac. We need something with arms. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I mean, we could... I mean, the trebuchet could work its way, work its way into uh, a melee mech. For the moment. It's going to be tricky, though, because, I mean... Progressing, we're going to have large numbers of enemies against us. Especially for fighting clans. They better not de-louse that guy. Um, so we're going to have to work on getting that um, surplus dropship up and running very shortly. To get some more mechs into play. Especially if we want to run a melee mech. We need something small and fast though, like really fast. I'm not sure what an Arctic Cheetah is like for speed. It's like, I think it's like 30 tons, isn't it? Arctic Cheetah? Hunchback, eh? Oh, Jesus Christ, that guy's gotta die. He's toasty. We're gonna keep him that way. It's about the only shot he's gonna get on us that's gonna be worthwhile, I think. Gonna have to try and send GV over there, I think, to take care of him. But our next barrage is gonna split between that chopper and that hunchback. Zora LRM. Okay. A medium improved heavy laser, or a large, sorry, a large improved heavy laser would be nice right about now. That guy's gonna take damage. Not much though.
Okay. All right, GV. Um, I'm receiving you. You're in the water here. Let's move up. On the way. See what kind of cooling we're looking at here by being in the water. Yeah, we're okay. So let's hammer this guy with everything. Let's do that. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Soften him up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to reserve you. This locust is uh, not ready to pull out yet. You're most likely going to go against that Pegasus as well. And we're going to switch. What are you doing? Just standing there? We're going to switch um, Infiltrator up to the right. And uh, Arclight's going to take on the Shadow Cats. Yeah, I think he's just going to stand there, cool off. Got a bit of lags. It's probably the chopper going now. Either that or this guy's deciding who he wants to shoot at. So we're getting pretty close to um, 191 um, Rotec. I haven't had too much of a chance in the past few days to look at it. I've been actually really busy with work, which is kind of nice. I'm at, I've got my, my uh, work computer set up next to me right here. Um, it's taken the place of my second computer normally here at home. Um, but, uh, you know, we've been, well, not really busy. I had one job that I was working on before I needed to uh, bring my stuff home. Standing by. And it was like, I don't know how many videos we had to do for that. Let's get you... Ah, God. Okay, let's get to here. And then we're going to multi-target this one. We're going to go after the vehicle. I want to see if we can get rid of... Oh, we're not going to be able to get rid of it. But we'll shoot at it anyway. And then I want to switch these two around. Uh, that's going to go to B with some Hydra. Wow, that's a really bad chance to hit, eh? Really bad chance to hit. Two smalls and a pair of LRM tens. Two energy, two missile. That guy's the same. Let's um Jeez, it's terrible all around the board, eh? Alright, I'm going to save the Hydra for now. We're going to go after this guy. We just straight up damage. Now, no different whether we use SRM. Oh, SRM Artemis is much better. Let's go this route and see if we can hammer this guy. Okay, good shooting. Good shooting. He's retreating. He's making a run for it. Look out, here comes the louse. Imagine having to pilot that thing, man. Terrifying. Spent a bit. Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to get for the next mech. I mean, I'm still hoping for a Risk Irby. Definitely want to see if I can get a Risk Irby running. Uh, but we'll see. I hear you. All right, witness. I'm going to bring you down into here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. 
Let's see if we can clean this guy up, maybe. I don't think so. 85% on this guy. Let's take the best shot here. Beautiful. Two beautiful hits. Another Svantovit. That's a juicy target over there for the barrage, but we can't risk it on those guys. Now I do have a couple of arrow barrages that I want to try and work into the mech loadouts, but currently I can't do it. Hopefully when we get the adder up and running I'll be able to work one into the adder and then maybe I can get one in the jenner, we'll see. I think the jenner's support points are in the arm, is one in each arm, I think if it's got them. I think it's the Locust that has the support point in the CT. Oh geez, that Hunchback, eh? Cooled off already. Okay, let's get up here. Get some height advantage on this Hunchback now. We don't have, uh, I don't want to hot load. Uh, what's the barrage? 40% in this guy. Four large heavy lasers. Wow. I don't think we mess around. I think we just do um, this. And we'll just fire the barrage down there. Okay, we got the chopper. So we're going to have to get um, all hands on deck for that hunchback. Nice. Yes. That's yours, witness. You soften him up more than enough for those guys to kill him. So I think it's going to be all heat hands on deck against this guy this turn. Zora. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. They're down to what? Uh, six? So two Shadow Cats, two vehicles, the Hunchback. Sorry, three vehicles and the Hunchback. Okay, is this our guys going or what's going on here? That was this guy in 11. Okay. Alright buddy, all hands on deck please. Can't get any closer. On the move. Full speed. Let's heat this guy up, please. Um, let's hold off on these. I just want to see if we can get this guy to bail by burning him alive. Nice three hits. Waiting on you, Commander. Seventy-five percent on this guy. Commencing alpha strike. Okay, we got one hit. We'll take it. Good shot. Let's see if we can get out of out of his. Uh, out of everybody's firing position here. Yeah, let's get back here. Yeah, it's nice and out of the way. Beautiful. It's a perfect hill right here. Yeah, that mech, uh, the Locust, it's got a, I mean, it's you know, I like a better mech for it at this point in time, but as our fourth mech, it's not doing that bad with a pair of X pulses. You know, it's hitting hard when it hits, and it's got a pretty darn good chance to hit when it's in close. It's a nice hit and run mech. I mean, I think we're using it, right? Getting in as fast as we can, shooting people up, and then shooting them up again, and getting to a place where they can't shoot at us. Yeah, they're, they're terrified. Those guys are. All right, let's not get in a position where Roger. I'm worried about using the, uh, I don't want to kill this guy though. Let's switch this to Inferno. I'm not going to use Hydra because we got a guy right here, but we will get the Infernos on him. 65 more. All hands on deck, baby. Don't 
Don't know how long these guys are going to want to run for. But we might be able to claim a kill here. Now, I don't have any Inferno to support our guys over here. So we're going to sprint. Actually, maybe we shoot from here? It's our chance to hit the back of this guy. Not that great. I mean, we could go full rocket barrage, but at 40%. I want to hold off and see what we get uh, as reinforcements. Let's move a little closer. Now don't be shy. Get a little closer. And it made the chances even worse because I guess we got lower on the hill. This guy's a nice juicy target though. Let's hammer him. Uh, dead fire. Here it comes. Beautiful. Enemy unit destroyed. Really hoping to get, get a back shot in those shadow cats, but I don't know if they're going to turn this turn or next turn. But they're down to half now. And that hunchback is technically out of the game at this point. Yeah, he can't cool off fast enough now. You're done, buddy. It's game over. We're gonna burn him alive. Alive. So who's the threat now? Svantovit? I don't think so. I think that's a alarm. That, these two are both lerms, I think. So really it's just the shadow cats. Yeah, they're running. They're breaking. See if we can make that guy punch. What can I do for you? Let's get in and push these guys. Firing. Ah. Well, hey, stay in the Standing by. let's make this guy toasty. Join the flames, buddy. 62 heat. Ouch. Gonna shut him down here in a second. Then I gotta see if I want to try for a headshot. Or try and kill one of these guys. Yeah, they're turning the fight now. Oof. This isn't looking too good. Question is, did they hit this guy? Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see. Or was that me that they Is everything on me? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it was. I think he's got a... Maybe those are streak LRMs. No, he didn't hit this guy. Alright, well... Aye, aye. You're not saving that guy. I know it's lousy chances to hit, but we're going to take it anyway. Okay, he's panicking. Beautiful. Alright, one hit. We'll take it. I think she's still got one more turn after this one before the barrage is back. Oh. It's really all you can do. It's all you can do. One of our wrists is jammed, and damn it. I mean, we could go for a back attack against this guy, but I want to try and claim some of these weapons on him. Now, I don't know where those large improves are. They're most likely in each torso. I mean, it could be four in one torso, but it's unlikely. All right, we got to uh, push these shadow cats, I think. 
not bad. Let's give them a uh, better, a uh, easier target to hit. We'll just move up here, target this guy. Um, don't know if I want to use the rockets just yet. I mean, we could use all the rockets and just get a kill on this guy. But like I said, I have no idea what we're to expect later on. So let's just go this route. Okay, nice shot. Good damage. Okay, so they got LRM with Artemis. That's what they've got. Now we do have hunchback parts. I don't know if this is just a regular hunchback or if it's the 2C. It's not doesn't say or the hunchback C. Christ, I remember seeing uh when we first started playing uh, against the clans in uh, Tabletop Battletech, the Hunchback 2C with a pair of Ultra 20s, one in each shoulder. And I was like, man, that thing is crazy. I think it was 60 tons, though. I don't think it was 50. I think it was 60 tons, but still. Paper thin armor, almost no ammo, but that thing, if it got close, it could just wreck you quickly. Okay. Five chevrons of evasion. Really helping out. All right, GV, we need you back over here, please. Uh, flames on the way, huh? Yeah, the one thing I wish you could do is, like, choose your path. Like, you know, just click, like, do waypoints. That's the one thing I think they're missing from this game is waypoints. But this is fine. We'll move into here. A little tight of a shot, but we're going to take it anyway. Beautiful. He's panicking. Witness. I hear you. Can't avoid the flames because we're standing in them, but we'll move over here. Don't know how this is going to affect our heat. Yeah, we can only use one. We'll just shoot one on this guy. No sweat. Ah, damn it. We might be able, Arclight might be able to make him bail here. If we get a side shot, we can from here. Let's do that. Move over here. Uh, we've got the barrage. Let's multi. Let's go after you. Low chance to hit with the barrage. What, what's this guy? Yeah, it's still the same. Still the same lousy chance. Inferno, we're going to use these weapons on this uh, primary guy here as well. Hopefully we can get this guy to bail. Alright, firing. Okay, he's shut down. Nice. He can't do anything this turn. Oh, yeah! Beautiful shot. Come on, make him bail. He was panicked. Why is he not bailing? Okay, this is the guy with the back damage. I think that thing has got like... Yeah, he's got like arrow fives. Pair of arrow fives, I think. No, grenade launchers. That's a lot of weapons for like a. What is this guy? 20? 20 tons. It's a lot of weapons. Probably have no armor. Okay, um. This guy. This guy's our better shot. Um, let's see if we can get in the water first. Oh yeah. We're going to lose a bit of our advantage only because we're down at a lower level, but I want to cool off and I want to use all my weapons. So I think we're going to multi-target this. We're going to shoot at this guy. And we'll shoot at this guy because we have a good chance to hit against B. 
Those against B, LRM dead, fire against A, maybe we can make them bail. Nope, that was a torso kill, I think. Or did we just take his leg out? Nope, that's a kill. No, it's not. It's not registering as one. Right, 60 and 60. Don't see him here anywhere though. Yeah, man, pepper him. This guy's still got to go, I think. All right, well, we're almost ready to activate here. Well, no matter what I do, there's going to be flames. Let's just get over here. Want to barbecue? We can probably fire everything. Yeah. That's pretty darn good on this second guy. Let's go after this guy. For an 28 heat. A critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, I'm going to get you to reserve, buddy. There we go. Let's get over here. Now, let's switch these up to Artemis. Really good chances on this vehicle. I want him gone. He's giving us a flanking maneuver here. Nicely done. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Now, we've only got these two guys on the hill. He can't really do anything. I say, and they get smashed by uh, LRMs. What can I do for you? Okay, witness, let's get up here. Uh, no, let's not activate, not quite yet. Oh, there's a vehicle back here. The Zora, I completely forgot about the Zora. All right, uh, that's not a good place to be. That's better. Oh shit, we're going to activate though. Well, that'll be fun, won't it? Alright, well. Let's fire this guy. Roger that. Firing on target. Ah. <laughs> we better start moving fast. Cannot be in the flames. Let's get our... Oh shit, we are got our guy right here in the middle. Man, I am, like, messing up big time here. Or am I? Or am I, he says. Okay, we got a little bit of heat on us, but not much. It is not. Stop talking. Arc light, you need to fire a maneuver and get over there fast. Oh man. Look how toasty these guys are. I'd like to say we could leave them to our allies here, but Well maybe we can. I gotta stop opening my mouth. These guys are competent, looks like. Don't tempt fate, buddy. Don't tempt fate. Okay, we'll take the 10. All right. 
There's the convoy. I, I don't know if they've got going to have a lance in the second uh, bit here. What do we got? A carrier. That might be good. Carrier. <laughs> carrier. Well, they might just be able to go on their own. <laughs> that's a lot of carriers. Looks like we got guys over here. Nope, that's where they got to go. All right, well. Witness and G Fee got to book it. Oh, yeah, we got guys coming in. Okay. We all got to book it over there. Now, can we get down? I think we can get into the water here. So if we send arc light this way. Yeesh, I don't know. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, we'll be there in a second. Just, just hold on. <laughs> I'll just leave you there. You can take care of those guys. You're on your own. Oh, ouch. Forget the Zora. We got to get back over here. These guys are going to be nasty. What do we got here, too? Griffin 2C, 40 tons. Oh, shoot. I think they're trying to move closer to us. Gonna put you up here. Heading out. Full speed. And the screams of the people in the buildings. Let's get to a position where that guy back there can't see us. Turn a little bit though. Yeah, we're out of range. Well, we got. That's our full sprint, huh? Yeah, we're some slow-ass meat here. All right. Um, out of range, even with standard LRMs, eh? Okay. Standing by. Oh, let's get in the water. No. Uh, they have a better chance of sensors to pick us up. Which means they might have a better chance to hit us. What do, you got, what do we got here? Trebuchet? Piranha. Pragna. Let's just go this until we can get in the water. Attacking from position. Eh, not bad. The Laos, what are you doing? Alright. Engage with those mother effers. Why do your LRMs fire that far? Yeah. Five points. All right. We'll take it. What else do we have over here? Incubus. All right. So not bad. The Nova is the one we got to worry about. I'm going to turn the map here a little bit. Yeah, if we don't screw it up. And what's the last guy? Uh, Shadow Cat? All right. Going to be a lot of Shadow Cat parts in this one. Now, how much does the Shadow Cat weigh? It's 40 tons, right? Isn't it? Uh, we'll find out in a second. Um, yeah. Let's get to the only uh, couple of these guys can see you. Uh, terrible chance to hit. We're going to take them anyway, though. One hit, 15 damage. That's beautiful. Take that. Not going to say no. The Zora is back here on the hill. I'm just going to completely ignore it. If it gets close, we'll toast it. But for now, it's like, what's the point? What can I do for you? Um, let's reserve you. You're in a spot where you're okay right now. Let's just reserve. I want to get in, do our... our uh, Maneuver, fire, fire, maneuver. 
But I don't want them shooting at you. Okay, who was that? That just decided to do nothing? I think it was the Griffin. This guy here. That long top. Okay, our first line goes on 17. That's a pretty good spot to be going on. I think we're going to try and target this guy. He's taken some good hits initially. Doesn't look like a lot though, does it? Yeah. These guys are full armor. So I don't know. We'll take what we can get. It's a good thing I held on to those rockets. If we can get to a position where we can use them against this guy, it'll be a good uh, a good day. Let's get into here. Now. 47.40. That's a little better. And that's even better. Can't use the dead fire from here, can we? No. Um, might as well use the medium laser as well. Ah, large X pulse missed. Okay, a few points. Yeah, until we can get that rocket barrage going or hitting with that large X pulse, we're not going to be doing much. Alright, let's get into the water here. Minimize the number of guys that can shoot at you. Let's move forward. Fast. Let's try and clear out the guys directly in our way here. Um, SRMs? Yeah, this guy's taking... Oh, we've taken a fair bit of damage. Holy crap, we've taken a fair bit of damage. Um, let's blast this guy. Confirmed. Yeah. All right, well. Come on, you louse. Get into the battle. Okay, nice hit. Hang on, buddy. Just hang on. Come on, you start shooting, guys. Start shooting. Nothing. Nothing. Shadow Cat's moving pretty slow. I wonder if it was reserving as well. As long as it's shooting indirect, I'm good with that. Striker moving up. Let's get some hits on this guy. Yeah. Can't have everything, I guess. Okay, nice. That was a Zora making an attempt. Hopefully it'll piss those guys off and they'll kill the Zora. Hmm. Wonder why he's going that way. At least these guys are moving nice and slow. Oh yeah, hit him, hit him. Two, three, alright, 60 points. That's not too bad, I guess. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, let's just walk it up. Moving to position. I want your stability back. Targeting this guy. Good chances to hit. Firing. Okay, one hit. We'll take it. Gonna be out of dead fire soon if we're not careful here. Um, how many turns we got left here? Five, eight turns. That's not too bad. Let's move into here. 
We're down a bunch of armor too. Let's hammer this guy with what we can. Ah, crap. Really? That bad, eh? Well, it wasn't the best chances to hit, so... Infiltrators gotta get in. I hear ya. 57, eh? Oh. You got that right. All right, get back here. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay. So this guy's their scout. I'm just concerned what this last lance is going to be. thing is, is we know where we got to be to get out of here. Okay, no one's not shooting. Can't use the rockets on him. He's fortified in the trees there. He's going to take a lot of reduction in damage. I got to use him when somebody's shot already. I think they're just trying to get in close to these guys. We're going to get our, we're going to get our fair design up here, I think. Target this guy. Wow, this battle's this one this part of the battle's actually trickier than the intro. We had ten guys in the intro. Now we now we're down to five and it's like it's even trickier. Not worried so much because we've taken damage already, I'm more worried because they're tactically moving better than they were before. Okay, let's get into here. We're going to do a multi-target on this. We're going to go A here and B here. And A is going to take... Um, Infernos? No. Let's put these on B. Let's make B nice and toasty. A will take the uh, heavy weapons. Firing. Copy that. Oh, three hits. Beautiful. And the tag, oh yeah, man. Plus 111 heat. That gnome is pretty much done for the <laughs> for the next little while. I don't know what his heat sinking is like, but it better be pretty damn good. Now I wonder if we should just get GV up there to tie that guy up. Getting some height on this guy. It's not a bad idea. Should have been going for direct fire though. Uh, okay, we know what we got to do. Uh, I can't get up on the hill. That's fine. Let's get into here. My barrage has got one turn, so let's move into here. Full this guy's being a pain in my ass. Let's see if we can kill him. Alright, good damage. I don't know what his weapons are like now. I think he's lost half of them because he lost his arm there. Ooh, nice shooting, man. Good shooting. Carriers are finally cresting that hill. Alright, that works too. Yeah, this guy's lost one side. He's got a light machine gun and a heavy machine gun and two lasers left. Most likely smalls. This guy's like... <sighs> We're going to have to send uh, Witness back to get this guy. Hopefully he moves forward. Otherwise I'm going to tag his ass into oblivion. Ooh, okay, two hits. Or one hit, sorry. Nice. Torso gone, Piranha's knocked down. Striker's probably going to try and follow up. Yep. <clears throat> Couple of points. Head hit. Nice. I'm ready. Move order received. 
Let's uh, follow up with that last attack on this guy. Yeah, man. Look at the heat. Damage, too. Have a seat, buddy. Okay. That was nice. Juicy bits of damage on that guy. So Witness is going to move back. I wish I could fire on this guy first, but we're going to move back. We might get a long shot on him. I don't know. Yeah, that guy's pretty much uh, ski-rude. Let's not... Oh, man. Tough choice, because I don't want to turn my back to that Zora. No matter what I do, it's going to be a back. Alright, let's just pull back here. Three chevrons, eh? We don't get we don't get any advantage though. Uh can we take the leg? We might be able to. Yep. There we go. Sweep the leg, Bubba, sweep the leg. Alright, we got five guys on us now. Hopefully this vehicle sees the, uh, I think we're probably at the extreme range for the carrier to see us. Just going to walk it in. Alright, um, this guy's on his back. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's do this. And let's really screw up A. And hope for hope for a couple shots on B here. Maybe maybe Corum. Here it comes. Engaging multiple targets. 91 heat. Yeah. That guy's tied up for the rest of the battle. And that guy's dead. Nice. But Shadow Cat's got to face two mechs now. All right, Arc Light. I'm here. Let's give it to this guy. On my way. And let's go with the Inferno because we know this guy doesn't like fire. So let's blast him. Firing. Nice. Hopefully that'll stop him from shooting. It's raining lerms. Hallelujah, it's raining lerms. We're not talking serms. Who are you shooting at? That looked like a miss to me. Oof. That's a tricky move. Oh, yeah, he's moving forward, finally. Yeah, no kill, though, but good shot. GV can probably clean that up next turn. Gonna save the, uh, the last little bit of Inferno from the, <laughs> from the trebuchet. Well, yeah, that guy's in trouble. As long as they don't hit me. Don't shoot me, guys. Yeah, finish him up. Come on. Ah. Who's shooting at him? One of the vehicles, I guess. Don't hit me. As soon as I see those missiles, I'm like, you're going to hit me, aren't you? This guy's tough. Just not tough enough. back up. Let's save your missiles. Got a feeling we're going to need them for that last battle. Uh, let's go with the flamers. Um, let's just go right, right straight to the CT. Alright, witness. Um, 
Let's just reserve you. Moving action, Commander. There we go. There we go. Do I want to shoot both these guys? That's 70. Let's just turn the missiles off. We'll save them. I'm going to go straight with the lasers and blow this guy's torso out. Nice. I was worried for a second there we didn't get it. Okay, we're down to three. Now, I shouldn't really count that Zora, but... The Nova's really out of the battle at this point. Sooner or later those guys will die. We haven't needed the Hydra yet. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Oh you're moving eh? Be nice to get some Nova parts. Okay, we got nothing on our left flank. Can I get this other guy? Only indirectly. I could try for a vehicle kill. As stupid as this looks, I really want to make sure we get everybody. This guy's got like... Still got good armor, unfortunately. Alright, well... I can't multi. Alright, well, I'm trapped with this. Alright, here we go. Alright, few good hits. Few good hits! I hear ya. Uh, you're gonna get you to reserve, buddy. Gonna get you to reserve. Beautiful, that carrier's moving. Nice. Yes. So we should go before the vehicle next turn, which means we can shoot this guy four times. Okay, one hit. Nice. Hopefully we can connect a couple times next turn and we'll move forward and keep that vehicle going in the right direction. Or we can let that guy kill him. That works too. Down to two. Oh man. I'm really looking forward to finding out what this last battle is going to be. Hoping our both of our barrages are back. We've got all of our Hydra ammo. Wow. Okay, a few points. Ready for order. You know what to do. Make sure he's in the right range here for the flamers. Burn him! Don't know what turn he goes on. I should see if I can blow his head off. Oh, he goes on 18. Okay, well, we go on 17, so he's going to go before... Well, he will go before uh, the Treb. When does, uh... You go on 20, eh? What can I do for you? Uh, I don't want you to engage this guy alone, though. Aye, aye. Uh, that's gonna cause havoc. Let's get into here. And go here. Yeah, we want to go for the kill or we want to try... Well, it's like... 
We need at least two good solid headshots. Thirty Artemis left. Let's just use them. See ya. Let's hang on to witness for a second here. We can't get a direct line of sight on this guy, but we can get a back attack with the Lerm, so let's do that. Alright, three hits. Wow, good job there, buddy. All right, one hit. Take it. Yes, keep moving forward. Ooh, nice shooting. I want this guy to go. These guys go on what, 10 and 9. Come on, somebody hit him. Waiting on you, Commander. There we go. Nice juicy targeting. Here it comes. All weapons are go. Ah, one hit. Take it. Beautiful. 40% damage. So you did fortify this turn. It's not gonna save him next turn though. Let's keep you moving forward. I want these vehicles to keep moving. What can I do for you? Attack this guy. That's what you can do. Oh, beautiful chances to hit. Taking them. Be Two beautiful hits. Get down the hill so he can't see you. Okay, these guys have got to switch to alarms. It's a back attack. I want a flank attack. Can we fire from here? No, I gotta move. Gotta move. Let's do that. Position confirmed. Not the best position to fire from, but we'll take it. Standard ammo, here it comes. Alright, good damage. You got that right. What are you shooting at? Who are you damaging? Okay. Just making a break for it, is he? All right, it's not worth your time. Let's get you up into a position where we can use this barrage. Uh, yeah. That guy's at full, uh, I mean, our main guy's are pretty much at full strength, so I want to make sure he's at least there when the first vehicle goes out, because it looks like we're going to have a long ways to wait before the last one does. At least they're solid vehicles. I mean, they're carriers, so we've got some good fire support. And the secondary lance that we've had with us has been quite good, actually. Even the louse, which, you know, is basically a flea, is still doing pretty good. Ooh, see what I mean? Yes! All right, guys, I am going to go until the first vehicle goes out and we get our lance back in, and then I'll cut back in. All right, guys, we're back. So it looks like this turn we're going to go out with the carrier, most likely. So I want to set up my guys here. 
with a little bit of stealth because as soon as that vehicle goes out they're going to drop they're most likely going to get initiative on us so I want to be in a position where they can't target my units right away uh, witness you're still fine back here uh, they're not going to see you but let's get to a point where this vehicle can still see you and you're already in position okay so most likely this vehicle is going to go out this turn yep there we go here comes the drop Barak assault team oh beautiful two choppers We should be able to, uh, ooh, I don't know how fast those choppers are going to be. Hopefully Arc Light can get up that hill and use the barrage and take two choppers out right away. What do we got here? Shadowhawk 2C, a Pack Hunter, a Panther 2C. Oh, that's interesting. And what are these guys? Ferrets? Something like that? Oh, wait. Ta was it? Talent? What did it say? Sprint. This is probably the same. Sprint. Okay, 10 tons. Come on. You're not going to hit, but you might as well give it a give it a pop while you've got the ammo. Now, our AC vehicle is still moving forward, but it's lagging way behind. At least the stiletto move forward, which is going to help us. I was really hoping for heavier mechs, but... Not going to be much of a fight at this point. Uh, now, they should not be... That's just suicide. Let's just... Uh, you know, you got a good chance to move, but... It's just suicide, because can't, they can't see anybody else. So, if he moves up, they might just all target him. We'll wait till we till these barrages, or at least the arc lights barrage lands. Okay. So GB's got to wait a whole nother turn. Witness is in the same boat. He'll probably just move up this turn. We're not going to shoot, I don't think. We really need to get both barrages in there from RF Arizona and Arclight, I think. Although I think Arclight's turn is probably uh, going to be an issue. Let's get you to reserve. I'm not sure if this mech come on is going to count for this guy to keep moving forward so we may have to keep witness back here come on that was a reserve don't crash on me now that would really suck it's locked right now hopefully it's a chopper thinking about what to do oh thank god thank god that was a, a minute for me. I probably edited this bit, but it was a minute for me just sitting and waiting. And I'm thinking, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I, I, what do I do? Do I just like post the episode without the ending on it or what? We got this far. We're going to have really lousy initiative next turn for both Witness and GV, but we'll have to deal with that. I think with two barrages on those mechs down there, though, they're not going to stand much of a chance. Now, it's probably their chopper's turn. That's why it's so laggy. Hopefully, they don't, they don't move in and barrage this, like, area right here. That'll be bad. So, GV on 17 will be a reserve. I mean, I guess we could try and swing around behind the Panther... I don't know what a Panther 2C has. Don't know if it's a clan ERPPC or what. If it's got a clan double heatsink kit in it, it could be running with a clan ERPPC, but we're going to reserve him. Because it would have been nice to... Like... These guys haven't moved yet, so I'm just worried that they're waiting. And not just sitting there. Okay, he's moving. He's... 
He smelled the barrage and he's like, oh shit, I'm getting out of here. They're setting us up. It's like, you got that right, we are. You got that right. Enjoy this, boys. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah. I think we got both choppers. Looks like we did. Shadowhawk's nice and toasty now. Panther 2C is taking a little damage. This guy took a little damage. How much the heat on this guy? Do we know? A little bit. A little bit. It'd be a lot more in a second. A lot more in a second. This guy's gone already. We could just finish him off. Or we could just finish this guy off. Let's just do it. We're in good position. Let's just hammer this guy. Still alive. Yeah, but it was worth it. Worth every missile. Wow, he's... That's... He took that like a champion, man. Almost has no armor left in the center torso, though. Um, I think we're too far ahead of the vehicle now, but we'll see. Can always cut out that movement. All right, firing. Okay, one hit. Not bad. Still got GV. Come on, finish him up. So I'm kind of glad the barrages are going to work differently in the next version. The idea of like just instantly having a barrage when you when you fire your tag is ridiculous. It should be you tag a hex and then the the fire comes in either the next turn or the turn after that. Right? As, and you know, it, that, that'll work really really well against convoy missions where you know where the convoy's coming and you have a relative idea of how fast they're moving then you can just tag it the tag the hex ahead of them um, let's stay away from that goddamn panther moving to position. so the 2c is really toasty let's just shoot this well that's a lot of close range energy let's shoot them up okay not bad. Hopefully we'll go before him next turn and we can fire a maneuver. Commander? Okay, firing at this. Wow, it's reduced this turn. Bizarre. Alpha strike. It's alright, man. It's I, you doing your job over here. Got to keep this guy moving. Yeah, ever since we got that double heatsink kit and that locust, man. Big difference with the dual X pulses. Staying so cool, too. Oh, GB's going on 13? Was it 13 he goes on? It is. Don't shoot him in the back. Okay, good. Is that a rotary? That looked like a rotary to me. Why does he have a rotary? Oof. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Switching these around. One Inferno, one Artemis. We've only got one one uh, set of launches each for each one, but we're going to hit this guy and hopefully kill him. Well, we're keeping him nice and toasty. Let's get around here. Let's not let this little guy flank us. The pack hunter. Okay, our Farazan. Yeah, let's go for the kill. 
Uh, here it comes. Nicely done. Move in a little bit. Give them something to shoot for. It's going to make us hot, but we're going to be in the water next turn. Okay, two vehicles out. I'm worried about this guy. I think he's got an ERPPC in his arm. That's 60 damage. No, wait. The ERPPCs, I think, are 50 now. Yep, thought so. Good thing he missed. I thought they had SRM4. Oh, he didn't move. I thought they had SRM4s as well. Flames on the way, but we're in the water, so we're good. Let's hit this get wow, that's pretty still pretty hot though. Okay, here's my question. If I got two flamers in each arm, I think we took well, we must have taken an arm actuator hit in one of the arms, but why is the the flamers different percentages? I'll have to check. I wonder if one of these got damaged. I think we took a shoulder hit. We did. So that's why it's lower. See, that's significantly lower though. Anyway. Three out. Nice fireworks, a little bit of damage. God, that guy's so slow. Can I get a witness? Right, Commander. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him, get him, get him. A lot of micro pulses. Wish we had a mech that could use all of these, because that would be kind of cool. Although I don't think they do a lot of damage. Okay, there goes the leg. Beautiful. So he's done this turn. He can't go before the rest of us. Arc light and our first on are both going to shoot at the Panther. GB's got this guy. Let's get around this way, just so that Panther doesn't come over the hill and shoot you in the back. Straight up on this guy. CT, please. I've got. Not enough to kill. Oh, I take that back. Didn't see any penetration there. That's why I was saying not enough to kill. Oh, figures. Both of our wrists are down. Alright, just fire on this guy. Alright, one hit. We'll take it. Not bad. This louse is still alive. All right, a little bit of damage, a couple of mortars. Stiletto. Let's finish him up. Come on. Oh, beautiful, two hits. Rocking them X pulses, I think. Yeah, we need to be in the water. Here we go. There we go. Get the water. Two more turns of dead fire should be enough for this guy. All right, firing. Yeah, there goes your, <laughs> there goes your ERPPC clan. Kind of sad to see that disappear from the uh, loot table, but better better to not be in the loot table than to actually get a piece of one of us. God, it's going to take forever that guy to, to get out next turn, or next few turns. It's like, what, he's about six turns away, I think, the speed he's going. Yeah, that guy does have ammo. He must have a... Uh, SRM4 in there or something. Alright, GB, see if you can claim this guy. He's all yours. There you go. Enemy destroyed. So at least in the uh, new version, this will be an auto-completion of the mission. We won't have to wait for the vehicle to go out. Alright, guys. So I'm going to reserve and uh, fortify here until our vehicle is out. And I will see you when we're ready to leave. Alright, well, I know I said six turns, but that was only three, so that's pretty good. Ooh, loot table. Here it comes. That was, that was a good mission. That was really a good mission. mission successful. Now, we probably could have gone a half skull higher on that mission,
but overall we didn't lose any allied units we took a little bit of damage um, but everyone came out okay so that's pretty good for us you know Jenner took the arm damage the shoulder damage I don't think it took oh yeah one of the flamers got damaged too that's why it was a little lower chance to hit but other than that it did really well yeah man I don't think we lost anything out of this so that's good all right let's see what we got here hopefully we get um, hunchback 2c yeah incubus parts we have anything here or maybe we could take a full shadow cat 45 tons but we need clan double heat sinks AP gosses ATMs ER mediums ER mic so they're 240 meters 10 damage for a quarter ton so I guess on lighter max those things are great there's the ER PPC it is 60 damage okay I thought it was 50 there for a second 60 damage that's not bad clan flamer large heavy lasers they're not improved they're just the regular versions but still 80 damage for 54 heat light tags lar or medium heavies medium pulses um, streak six clan three tons another tag barrage Ooh, makes me want to take it ultra 10 lots of clan case which we could definitely be using um, clan XL engines oh man clan exchanger there should be clan double heat sinks here in order we're not going to be able to get the adder running unless we get one I'm sure there's some down here yeah clan doubles they're all singles though unfortunately we should probably get one in the roll though I mean I could take five shadow cat parts and hope for the best then we'll be up in the medium range with all of our mechs if I want to go that fast though that's the question probably I don't know I'm really enjoying it being more challenging with the lighter guys okay so there's no real all regular sensors no cockpit stuff we want standard fire control Artemis enhanced imaging which I always forget to turn on anyway clan XLs would be great but we don't have the C bills to put them in shadow cat you're all shadow cat bees eh what do these things have Two, I know they got two lasers and two uh, two launchers at 45 tons you know what we could do is like take three of these and hope we get some more we do that definitely take the double heat sink so we know we can get the adder running um, we could take an XL engine like if we go this route is the shadow cat an omni mech beginning of the century yeah it's probably an Omni I hope it is I'm thinking it is and then we hope we roll the dice so enough shadow cap parts enough to get one though and then if we don't get one it's almost a waste of a we'd have to get we'd have to get two the chances of that are pretty damn slim with everything down there 
it's probably bigger chances if we go if we go all shadow cat parts but then again it's another mech with no uh, arms alright let's go this route hope for a double heat sink let's see what we get alright we got the Nova part excellent prana part one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, good thing we took it then. Shadowhawk 2C, Panther 2C. AP cost rifle LBX5, which we already have. Medium heavy, okay. Medium pulse clan, that's not bad. Guardian ECM, definitely going to need that. And some ammo, we didn't get the double heat sink. Great. Alright. Ah, 36,000, not too bad. We did take a lot of damage in that first engagement. But after that, we did pretty well. That first engagement was definitely the toughest. Uh, yeah, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and quickly put together that Shadow Cat. And see what it's got. So let's go to storage. Maybe it's got a double heat sink for it for us here. There it is. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Omni actuators. Okay, let's have a look in the bay here. Oh, well, it looks like it might have some stuff left here. Okay. Yeah, not too much. It does have a double heat sink. Do we need it for this mech? We don't, which means we can pull this double heat sink out of here. Which I'm going to do right now. Uh, fire control system Artemis. So, I mean, we could... Here's the thought, guys. We could take this mech. Let's um, max the armor. We could take this mech and put it in place of the trebuchet. Because I can probably squeeze what the trebs got in it into this guy. It's actually got a mask built in, too, eh? That's crazy. These jump jets are all built in, too. So if we... Let me just drop some of this back armor a little bit here, just to get us down to uh, something like maybe that. There we go. So we got 14 tons left. That should be enough, I think. And then the trebuchet can turn into the melee mech. This one would be the treb. And then we do the same thing we plan on doing with the Adder and the Jenner. Which I think we can do. 170,000. Let's confirm this. Cool. Now I don't think we'll be ready with these guys for the next battle. Although we might be able to do... Maybe. Let's see. Let's just see. Uh, so I'll work on these mechs between episodes. Uh, we're doing okay sea bills wise. I mean, financial report's a little much, but... I think we'll be okay. I'm going to sell a bunch of garbage. Uh, get the Locust out of here. We'll have five mechs in the in the bay, and then we'll have the ability to have a melee mech running, and we can get... Um, what's his name now? I gotta, We haven't used him yet, so I can't remember his name. Dustraker. we got to get Dustraker going. Um, so he'll get a chance to hit some battles up with the, with the Treb. I think that'll become our melee mech. We could probably drop the, the uh, extra mask we have in there, too. But I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop in the comment any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.